okay so in this menu project we will create this background we have this background image when i scroll down you can see we are hiding this image and we are going to show the content right so for this we have a small javascript code i'm going to implement this on using html and css with the help of javascript right so i have import one image which is jpg image you can download an image and you can save it inside that your folder so i'm going to create one file for the index.html for the html content then style.css for the styling script.js for the javascript right so first we'll write down the html content i'm going to add the boilerplate code using a strict symbol then after you can give a title image is called right so here i'm going to add one division for the image i'm going to give a class name background image then that will give id also background image then after i'm going to add another division inside this division we'll add some content that means we'll name this as a container and i'm going to add one h1 tag welcome solo developers so after that we will add some paragraph with the random text i'm going to use lorem so we'll take a copy of this section and copy it few few times okay i have one two three four five six seven paragraph right so that is fine you can use as many as you want for this call effect we need some head of our page so i'm going to open this inside the live server right so now it is like this okay we will add a background image then after we can add our it's called effect right so we will connect the style sheet link css style.css my file name is style.css then i am going to connect the script file also the script src will be dot slash script dot js okay we have successfully connected two file first i am going to add the css content then after we will move into the javascript right for the body section i am going to set margin into zero margin mean space between your element board and outside content then after for the font family we will use on a space you can use any font family now we have background image class right so here i am going to insert my image so which is background image then url will be dot slash background dot jpg my file name you can see file name is bg dot jpg ok we will see this in the browser still so effect is taken place we can give a width and height for this one width will be i am going to give as 100% height also will be 100 viewport height ok now we have given the image so here you can see that image is zoom in here so we need to add this image as a cover image so we will set background position into the center and background attachment will be background position will be center background attachment will be fixed it's not going to move and background size will be cover okay let's see I'm going to give this as uh, 160% background size, right? Okay, this is somewhat to get right? So then, now we have container class for this one. I'm going to give some padding as uh, 100px padding from the old side, padding mean space between your element board and outside container. So we have our element board here. 
then now between this element board and content we have padding 100px from the old side so inside content I have h1 tag for the heading I'm going to make font size into 50px then after text align will be center okay so then after we have paragraph color will be gray color we will use for the paragraph or else we will use green color let's see okay right so we have our content so if you want you can add media query to the mobile responsive for example we can add media query if maximum width is 500 pixel on that time container class padding will be instead of 100 px it will be 10 px right in the small screen you can add a media query like this for the mobile responsiveness now I'm going to add JavaScript for this one so we already connected this file I need to get the ID of this image right by using this ID constant background image will be document dot get element by ID background image so window dot add event is name we will add the event when we scroll on that time we are calling a function update image all right so now we need to create this image function right so update image function background image dot style dot opacity will be 1 minus window dot scroll y coordinate divided by 900 so we'll use this one I can see opacity is decreasing right okay so for the background size also we can give a style let's see do we want to give this one no right so now we have this nice effect you can see when I scroll down this image is hiding right and also for the background size also I'm going to give background image dot style dot background size will be 167 percentage minus window dot scroll y divide by 12 plus percentage so we are going to add this percentage now you can see that is image is decreasing minimizing right so zoom out when we scroll up so we have made this nice effect using this javascript code and this small css code then html code so i will share this as a github link you can download the file freely from the link on the description and we will meet with a new project okay